her feet on the dance floor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and this is Unplugged. This is the platform where we give creatives an opportunity to express themselves and show us exactly who they are and what they are about. And that was a fantastic song by our guest here tonight, our first guest. We have two of them. Our first guest is Joanne. And Joanne, the judge, you might remember. Hi, Joanne. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Thank you for coming through. It's my pleasure. Yeah, fantastic. I think <laughs> most of you remember Joanne, the judge, of course, from all the dancing that she's done. Yes. And uh, also, as a judge on Sakata, she was uh, our Simon Cowell here. She was, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping today she wouldn't come at me, but <laughs> she's a guest. And also, as you can see, our Tamu Tamu bar is souped up courtesy of Mawimbi Seafood. And we've got Ken here. Ken making us look good. Ken, what are you doing for us over so there? Basically, today I'm just going to do a little bit of something something um i'm gonna have uh two mocktails and two cocktails right for you guys tonight um hope you'll enjoy it yeah thank you well, what's um, going to be in the mocktail um we're gonna have raspberry uh -huh. um a little bit of raspberry and blackberry right in the mocktail uh and some mango okay spicy mango uh-huh yeah and All for right. the cocktails we're gonna have um a pina colada uh -huh. and um that's actually our brand that's actually our, our signature drink uh, -huh. uh it's called pinky senorita i'm gonna use bombay all right, so you can start me. I'm quite thirsty. I don't know about you, John. 
Absolutely, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, from here on a mocktail, what do you want? Cocktail, please. All right, mocktail, cocktail, get it done. You Easy. know, um, Easy. don't make mine too sweet. Definitely. <laughs> okay, remember, yeah. uh, Tabu Tabu Bar today is uh, souped up courtesy of Mawimbi Seafood. And we have Joanne here, who is a singer, songwriter. Yes. She's an author. She's a dancer as well. All right. So, Joanne, you, you started, uh, actually join me here on the set. So sure. we can, as, as, as we can. Usinicheze. Definitely not. Yeah. Come on, I got <laughs> you. Naku <laughs> check. I got you, Mawimbi got you. All right, <laughs> cool. So, uh, please join me here on the desk. Okay, so, Joan, yes. welcome to Unplug. Great to be here. You have been a creative for the longest time. I think since you were five years old, you had already started doing things. My whole life. Singing, <laughs> singing in choirs. Yes. You know? And uh, so, so, at five years old, like, did you get into the choir because you wanted to or because your parents were like, ah, this one, if we don't, if we don't keep an eye on her. You know, I don't know, but my parents were never the type to push me into things. So I think it would have been because I wanted to sing. Yeah. If I did, wanted to dance, it's because of me. Yeah. You know, I remember saying, you know, I, I want to go to dance lessons. And my parents were like, what? Yeah. You know, and it was just like, oh, okay, yeah. kind of thing. And you were so, born and raised in Bermuda. Yes. All right. And so how you got to Kenya is another story that we will we, we'll talk about that. But when you were 11, you were earning money from music. How? Um, what is this you know that we don't know? <laughs> no, no, it was, it was very simple. Yeah. So I, I was always the one in the neighborhood making up games and um, I, I would write plays and say, you have to learn your lines. And the parents were coming to my mom and saying, my kid is stressed, what's the problem? They have to learn these lines. And it was me, actually. My mother had no idea. Right. So I would charge the parents. We'd set up chairs. We'd put on our parents' clothes. W we would put about, about, I don't know, 10 cents, uh -huh. uh, 10 shillings or something right. like this. Okay. So, so nothing exuberant, but it was the beginning. Of, of what a creative is. Already mm. I was trying to find industry as a kid mm. through something that I love. So that just grew from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and, and st speaking of, you know, being a child and being able to find industry, I think one of the things that I found very striking about you is, uh, I mean, apart from the fact that you do all these things, is that you're also an author. Yes. And uh, you wrote two children's books. That's correct. And so <laughs> how, how did that come about? Because that's, that's you know, you, you move from music to writing children's books to dancing yes. to choreography. Yes. How did that come about? Because one of the books was actually even... Um, lauded at parliament in Bermuda. Yes, it was yeah. a bestseller. The Lizard yeah. of the Rock was a bestseller. So the thing is, it's like this. I know that I have a lot of gifts and a lot of talents. Mm -hmm. And we know that to whom much is given, much is required. Mm -hmm. So I've always felt in my life, I have a responsibility to share those gifts with the world. Mm -hmm. Now, when that happens, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So at certain seasons in my life, dance becomes mm -hmm. the number one. And you've mm -hmm. seen that. And then other times in my life, it's music. And then other times in my life, it, it's, it's writing. And I actually started publishing my writing when I didn't think I was going to dance again. Mm. When I had two C-sections and I was like, ooh, everything is, yeah, there's like, no muscles it's left. It's done for me. So yeah. I guess I'm finished. So mm. maybe I, I've had these books and these, mm. these stories in my journal. Let's mm. share them with the world. Mm. And then later on through yoga, I was able to get back to dance. So mm. life has been an interesting ride. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think of interesting, <laughs> you were in Israel at some point. Yes. And so, well, so on your research. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, were, you were in Israel at some point. So how did that come about? I mean, from Bermuda to Israel. I mean, you know, like that's like polar opposites. Completely. Well, you know about that Bermuda Triangle yeah. and you just get sucked yeah. in and then I'm in Israel. Okay, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was in college in the U.S. Right. And um, we had to take a language. And I always like to be different. I'm still that way. Mm. Everyone takes French and Spanish. I mm. want to be different. So mm. I decided to take Hebrew. Hebrew. Yeah. So I, I still speak Hebrew to this mm. day. Teach and, me something. Um, if I say, Manishma, Beseder, like, how are you? Yeah. Beseder is like, okay. Yeah. Um, Erev Tov is like, good evening. Actually, there's a lot of Swahili and, and Hebrew words that are yeah. very, very it's similar. similar. Yeah. Like, um, mm. if I want to say, you know, um, I don't know, without something, mm. Bila De, without, mm. Bila, mm. is in Bila. Hebrew, also in Swahili. Swahili right, um, yeah. Dam is, is blood or mm. deep red color. Mm. Dam, Dam Swahili. Is so we have a lot of similarities, which is yeah. kind of really cool. Yeah. So anyway, back to that. Um, after taking Hebrew in college, there was an opportunity to mm. continue studying in Israel. So, mm -hmm. And I'm actually a nerd. People don't know this. People think that people oh, with tattoos yeah. and piercings and locks. But I'm, I've always been a nerd 4.0 all the way through mm -hmm. college. And so I went to Israel. And actually, yeah, that's where I was for four years. And mm -hmm. then went back to Bermuda. Yeah. And then that's when I started publishing the books. You did a song with someone called Lee Fishman. 
Yes. Yeah, oh, wow. In, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, in, in, in Israel. Yes, I did. And so how did that, How because he's, he's, he's a pretty big deal. So how did that come about? Lee Fishman is a star, a yeah. pop star in, in Israel. And um, at that time, I was still singing in the church. Yes, I was in church, guys. No one believes me. But uh, so anyway, um, and um, she actually sent someone to different churches to look for mm. singers. Mm. And they were like, you, you know, we need you. Mm. And um, so I went in the studio. I had just had my second kid. Mm. So I, I, he was like a week old. Mm. So I'm in the studio like nursing. It was hilarious. Mm. And it was a certain point we were just supposed to sing back up. But she was like, no, I want you to sing. Um, I want you to do all the ad libs. So you hear mm. it, 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 the song is called Chelsea. It was for the team Chelsea. Mm. And um, you hear all the ad libs and things. And that was me. They didn't put my name on it. Mm. Which, but any case. Oh, so okay, it's no money. I know. Uh. But um, no, no, they did compensate mm. me. But okay. um, my name is not there. Mm. But um, yeah, but I love Lee. We still keep in touch. She's always very happy she's like oh i told you you could do good in music and dance and she's like really cool we're still friends on facebook and yeah. stuff yeah okay and then you found your way to kenya yes now this is pretty interesting so you <laughs> get here and and when you arrive i mean you know you 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 have a dancing you have, you have a dance background at that point that you arrived in kenya what was the dance scene like um, I have to start with the music scene. I feel mm. like I, taught, I caught the tail end of mm. what I would call like a renaissance in music mm. in Kenya. You know, you guys had just come through the 90s with Necessary Noise and yeah. Kuflani and all these amazing yeah. artists that were turning hip-hop and dancehall into this, this, this wild animal that was mm. completely beautiful and fantastic. Mm. And the dance was following along, so you had the beginners of that industry. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when I came, that was kind of finishing right before Kenya Music decided to look more to mimicking what was, is outside. Mm -hmm. It felt like it was, it was kind of, it was getting influence from outside, but still holding on to what is here more, mm -hmm. if, if I can take that as my observation of things. Mm -hmm. So the dance was coming along there. So you have dance crews, and the dance crews in their own right, you know, had their own fan base and, and that sort of thing. Still heavily male-dominated, but mm. still okay. So I came in around that time right. where it's, it's kind of like women were still looked at as if you are married, then you need to stop that dance thing. Mm. If you have a kid, you need to be cooking ugali. Mm. So it was very important at that time that nobody knew that I already had kids and mm. had a family because we'd be like, oh, really? Right. What are you doing? What are you doing? Should be at home cooking and <laughs> cleaning and <laughs> <That's> <laughs> changing what, the kids. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And so even when um, on the last season when Sakata happened, I was mm. pregnant and performing and dancing. Mm. It, mm. Was, it was a breakthrough for a lot of people to know that pregnancy right. is not a sickness. Yeah. You, you're because you were, what, eight and a half weeks pregnant at the time, right? No, I, I was six uh, about, months. I no, was, yeah, eight and a half months pregnant. So, yeah, yeah, when, when we yeah. ended, I was mm. almost ready to go down. During the finals. During the finals. Yeah. I was huge. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, it was a really cool breakthrough at the time. Mm. I learned a lot about Kenyan culture mm. through Sakata. Mm. And then the fact, I don't really think I'm mean. I think I'm just honest. <laughs> what, 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 what did you take on that persona? Because like, people are like, oh my God, she's here. Now I'm going to start dancing is. and she's good. Yeah. And the truth of the matter is I'm actually very shy. Mm. I'm actually very sensitive. Music and dance and drama and the arts really mm. touch my heart. Mm. And when it's good, I can get very emotional and even cry. And when it's bad, I can still cry because it's just that bad. <laughs> but, but, no, but I'm joking. But the fact of the matter is it, it was a beautiful time. I loved working with Ian and Wyre and... Um, you know, just, just mm. kind of, they were always very supportive, mm. very sweet, very right. dear to my heart to this day. Right. And the whole team, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a very beautiful learning process. There's something I'm going to ask you, but first I want us to discuss uh, your song, Tired Feet. Okay. Now, you wrote this 15 years ago. Yes. Why did you feel it was relevant now uh -huh. as opposed to 15 years ago? Like I said, I'm a very shy person. Yeah. So there's a lot of things I keep close to my heart. Mm. And when I sense that it's the right time, I do a lot of things by intuition. I let it out then. Mm. We had, I've recorded Tired Feet about two or three times. And each time I was like, not yet, not yet, not yet. And this is not with all the songs, mm. but Tired Feet for some reason felt extra special. Mm -hmm. And so um, I recorded it before COVID hit Kenya and we were mm. ready. And if you look at all of my dance um, music, my music videos, they have, it's very dance heavy. Mm. And when COVID hit, it's like, well, we can't have 15 or 20 dancers on right, set. Right. What are we gonna do? So I waited. And then, you know, thoughts and talking to loved ones and friends. Big shout out to my sister, Dion, mm. because she's in New York. Mm. Because I was talking to her about what I felt the script should be. And it started to change in that conversation. Mm. I really value um, mm. um, transparent conversations. Right. 
And um, so it was this idea of why don't we make the music video relevant to what's happening? Mm. But beyond just washing hands and wear a mask, mm. what might be happening or what is happening behind the doors? Relationships are being tested. Gender based violence. That, like this, yeah, this is yes. Intimate um, partner violence, yeah. Maybe there's drug abuse, alcohol abuse, uh, you know, that sort of thing, dancers. And so, it was a big, it's a big deal for me to, to big up the dancers and those in the music industry that haven't had work this season. Mm -hmm. And that the video also shows that dancer, she's walking through her village and she's, you know, there's a lot of poverty and everything around, but when she right. starts to dance, she feels that release. And that's mm -hmm. what Tired Feet is, you know? Okay. When you feel down, when you feel like you're tired in this dance of life, mm -hmm. it's time to get up and try again. I think so. So, you know what? Let's watch this video, Tired Feet uh, by Joanne. And, uh, you know, let's all think about what it is that we're going through. And some of the things that, you know, we can also celebrate. It's not all bad. So here it is, Tired Feet by Joanne. There you go, Tired Feet by Joanne, who's here with us in studio. Me, I don't know about you, but I've got Tired Feet after a long, long week like this, which is why I'm really happy that we have got Kenya from Wimby Seafood, who have souped up our Tamu Tamu bar, and he promised he was going to make for us a cocktail and a mocktail. Ken. So two mocktails, two cocktails, actually. Yes, yes actually. So how yes. far are we? So um, we are down to one. Mm. So far, we have two mocktails. Okay. Which is the mocktail? Uh, this one's right here. Okay. So, um, so one is for me. One is for and you. And one is for Joanne. And one is for your guest. So this is Joanne's. 
Um, this is a cocktail. Okay. So, so uh, a, yes. we had to go there. Okay. Thank you. I hope I don't drop so. this. <laughs> Basically, Joanne. Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, let's kind of see of uh, Mawimbi Seafood. And uh, I'm going to take my mocktail in a bit. But we also have another special guest here with us. And her name is Zippy. Zippy, welcome to Unplugged. Thank you very Good much. Good to have you. Thank you so much for having me. All right. So, without further ado, first, let's hear from Zippy. She's got a song called Insecurities, which I think is a really amazing track. Okay. And I think that's what you're going to perform for us. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So take it away. This is Insecurities by Zippy right here on Unplugged as I enjoy my cocktail, mocktail, courtesy of my Wimby Seafood. Easy. Mm. This is mango. Yes. So. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Withholding all my trust. Insecurities never would have thought I'd be you. Never been to show, never been to say. And I'm saving all my love for you. And I'm giving all my love. Broken, you say, hey. hurt, shattered to the ground. Give me your love, let me mind day. Give me your heart, let me be your peace. Too broken, you say, hey. hurt, shattered to the ground. Give me your heart, let me mind day. Give me your, let me be your peace. I'm saving all my love for you And I'm giving all my love to Giving all my love to you And I'm saving all my love Amazing. You there you go. <laughs> and that's Zippy. Yes. Thank you so much. It's a fantastic tune. You know, it goes down really well with my mocktail from <laughs> Mawimbi Seafood. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying it. I don't know about you. This is Unplugged, of course, where we give creatives an opportunity to express themselves. And we've got so much talent here in the 254. Joan, what do you think about that? So that's a you know, I can actually, I can see you dancing to that. It actually would be very easy to do. I, I know. I can see like you do the whole thing. That would be very contemporary. Yeah. I can actually see you dancing to that. Um, so, uh, br brilliant. So, tell us a bit about yourself, uh, Zippy. How long have you been in music? Uh, I've been in music for like three years now. Mm. I started doing music professionally right after my time in Saudi Academy. Right. That was in 2018, mm. 2017. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I started doing um, regulars in hotels and clubs and mm -hmm. here and there. Right. And then I was supposed to now start doing my own thing right before the Rona thing, it mm -hmm. did that thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but here we are. So yeah, I'm actually recording an EP. It's supposed to be out very soon. Okay. Yeah. So what, what would you say your style is, your style of music? What is that? Um, a mixture of indie, mm. indie, some soul, some R&B, right. and something African. And I love Zook, so yeah. Yeah. And you know, also with Joanne, when you know, I hear some of your music, you know, there's some... I, I, I feel a bit of um, India Irene in there. Really? Yeah. No one's ever said that. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I feel about that. But you, you, you guys are very different. You guys are very different styles. Yeah. And for you, Zippy, what make, because this is not a very common sound yeah. for, for Kenya. Yeah. For Kenya, you know, we're used to the party songs, you know. <laughs> Joanna's got some fantastic party tracks out there, you know, yeah. Chizika. Yes! You know, that, you know, I've been in the club, yeah. you know. Um, so it's, it's, it's not a very common sound. Why, yeah, why did you decide to do this? Because it looks like now you're swimming against the current. Yeah, every, I, I think everyone has their own cup of tea, and this for me does it. This, in this way, I kind of 
it's, it's, it's a bit easy for me to like tell my own stories in my own kind of way. Mm. Very easy, very mellow. Because normally I don't talk too much. Mm. Well, I do, but <laughs> mm. don't tell too much stories. Okay. All right. Yeah. And so how many tracks do you have out now? Officially one, but I have uh, so many written. Mm -hmm. So many. We can go all night. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you're here with another songwriter as well. <laughs> <laughs> of note. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so because of time, I think uh, we're going to have to wrap it up. But Joanne, if you could quickly tell us where people can get your music from. Sure. So my music is on all... Ma I don't know which camera to look in. Mm -hmm. my, ma my music is on all major platforms. You can get it on Spotify, on Deezer, iTunes, Apple Music, Boomplay, etc. And of course, go to YouTube because right now we have the Tired Feet Challenge where we're giving away 10,000 shillings to creatives, dancers, singers. Do a cover, do a dance, outdo me, see what you do. <laughs> and um, leave a comment for me on my YouTube page, um, Joe1, J-O dash number one. Also, you can hit me up on IG at Joe1 Bermudian and I'll say hi. So yeah, big up for that, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, and uh, for you, Zippy, Zippy, where can we get your music? Uh, YouTube. Uh -huh. YouTube for now. All right. At Zippy Numu, N Y U M U. Okay. Yeah. All right. So perform for us something as a ticker. Insecurities, we'll get that. <laughs> I think we have the video if we could play that as well. Yeah. You know, so it's uh, really something amazing that we could see you performing and see your video as well. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. No more. And of course, as I enjoy my mocktail from uh, Mawimbi Seafood, Kelly's here. Hey, I think I want to. Can I exchange? <laughs> Thank you so much for Wimby Seafood for, of course, uh, souping up at Tamu Tabu Bar. Thank you so much, Joanne. My pleasure. Uh, of course, you can get all her music on uh, all social media, on all the music platforms. Thank you so much to Zippy as well. And thank you to you listening and watching from wherever it is that you are. This is Unplugged. We'll see you again next Friday right here at K24. Stuck around. I found my pain to say. Yeah, I'm saving all my love for you. Yeah, and I'm giving all my love to you. Might be too soon. Yes, I know. Got my blue moon. Shining on, don't be too cruel.